Plants need to exchange gases with their surroundings. They have to take in carbon dioxide for photosynthesis, for example, and release oxygen as a waste product. Stomata are the tiny holes on the underside of leaves that allow gases to enter and exit. By the way, the grammar might not work the way you expect for these. It's one stoma, many stomata. Stoma is singular and stomata is plural. There's an easy way to observe stomata, and they look really cool under the microscope. We'll have a look at the stomata of this leaf. First, we put clear nail varnish on the underside of the leaf. We only need a small patch. Leave it to dry for an hour or so, then place some clear sticky tape over it. Push down firm enough to make sure it sticks evenly, but not enough to damage the leaf tissue. Peel off the tape and the nail varnish will peel off with it. Put it on a microscope slide, and then look under the microscope. You see that? Brilliant. If we look close up, we can see guard cells either side of a stomatal pore. The word stomata comes from the Greek word for mouth, and it's pretty obvious why. Some scientists use the word stoma to describe this whole structure we see here including the guard cells, while others use stoma to describe only the space in between them, the bit shown here in green. The phrase stomatal pore is therefore quite helpful since this phrase only refers very specifically to the space between the guard cells. These guard cells are able to change shape, and this allows plants to control when gases can and can't be exchanged by opening or closing the stomata. One gas we haven't mentioned yet that is released through the stomata is water vapour. This release of water causes a continuous movement up the plant, a bit like water being sucked up a straw. Look up transpiration if you want to know more about that. While this release of water is essential for plants, they also need to have the ability to prevent water loss if they're short on it. Under these circumstances, the guard cells will change shape to close the stomata and retain the water. So basically, the environmental conditions, such as an abundance or lack of water, mean plants need a mechanism to allow or prevent gas exchange. It's these weird little mouth structures that make it happen. Nature is awesome. <laughs>